Now, when President Joe Biden needs advice, there are two people who he can turn to who know what it's like to sit behind the Resolute Desk. Of course, we know one of those individuals is the former President Bill Clinton, and the other is obviously former President Barack Obama. And tonight, New York City will witness an extraordinary moment in history as the three U.S. presidents come together on one stage. Now, in a dramatic show of strength, Barack Obama and Bill Clinton are coming together to rally for a second term for President Joe Biden at the famed Radio City Music Hall. Thousands of people are expected to attend the one-of-a-kind extravagant fundraising event. And fundraisers, even with presidents, are typically seen as small affairs. Dozens or sometimes hundreds will gather to hear a speech from the candidate, which is usually followed by a few questions. But this one is going to be a star-studded event. In fact, famous late night show host Stephen Colbert will moderate the conversation with the three presidents. Stars and celebrities are expected to attend the high priced event with tickets going for as high as half a million dollars. And the event is expected to raise a whopping 25 million. Now this would set a new record for the most money raised for a single political event. A fundraiser featuring President Biden and Obama in December raised nearly $3 million. And to date, former President Barack Obama's additional efforts to help his former vice president have already raised more than $15 million for Biden's reelection efforts. Already, President Biden is experiencing a, an enormous cash advantage over his financially strapped challenger, former President Donald Trump. In fact, current reports show that the Biden-Harris campaign already has more than $153 million in cash on hand. Now, certainly tonight's event amid the bright lights of New York City is a far cry from Donald Trump's recent attempt to raise money for his presidential efforts, selling Bibles for $59.99. A video of the ex-president pitching Bibles was featured on his Truth social media site just recently. Tonight's event, however, features perhaps the two most popular ex-presidents over the last four decades and certainly signals a shift in the presidential race that's expected to both be hard fought and come down to the wire. Now, prior to President Biden, former President Bill Clinton was the last Democratic president to unseat a Republican president. His victory over George H.W. Bush earned him the nickname, the Comeback Kid. In fact, Bill Clinton is still widely respected and beloved by the Democratic base. Now, the last time we saw these three presidents together it was during the COVID pandemic when they were making public service messages to combat the deadly epidemic. Now the three members of the most exclusive club in America will come together once again as a plot the return of President Biden to the White House. Now reports say Obama made it clear that he believes that the November rematch with Donald Trump will be incredibly close. And Thursday's Democratic display of solidarity in New York City is in sharp contrast to Donald Trump's isolation from other Republican leaders. In fact, his own former Vice President Mike Pence is not willing to endorse his bid for another White House term. And while Biden will be busy at a fundraising event tonight in New York City, Donald Trump will be in Long Island to attend the wake of a New York City police officer who was shot and killed during a traffic stop in Queens. Now, it will be a rare occasion when four presidents will be in one area other than Washington on the same day.